year. Uneasy TV is in your ears. So play close attention. Relax. Let me ease your mind. Sit back and recline. Enjoy this ride. I'm about to get deep. You're now tuned in to Dineasy TV. Dineasy TV. Things that you would need to keep a good relationship thriving. It's a few things. I don't know if it's a certain amount of number. You know, some people say 10 things. They keep a relationship, you know, booming or whatever in a great uh, matter or whatever. But it's a lot of, it's a few things. It's a few basic things that I'm just going to freestyle off the top of my head that I know, you know, that I keep the relationship smooth and great, man. One, love, man. You got to have genuine love. I'm talking about that love that's reciprocated. That love that you both, you can look in somebody's eyes and you can see hearts in their eyes. Um, and they see hearts in your eyes. They look at you and you look at them as a celebrity on TV like you would, like you would honor them and worship them. That's the first thing I think, man. True love. If you don't have that, that relationship will not work. There's a few things, but this is the one main thing I know for sure. If you don't have genuine love for someone, it's not going to work. Trust is another one. It's very important to trust your mate. Because if you don't have any trust, you will not be able to to be in that relationship, that relationship will crumble. You'll be making all kind of accusations because you generally don't trust them. So once that trust is there and you trust that person, oh my God, it feels so good. You don't even have to worry about anything. You know, that's my situation. This is my biggest issue is trust. So this is more on me than anybody. I need to follow this one right here. I need to just trust the person because they're going to do whatever they want to do at the end of the day. So you just got to give them that opportunity to break, to not break that trust. And believe me, if somebody really loves you, they will trust you. Once you got that love and that trust, then you got to have consistency. Consistency is the key because you got to keep doing the things that you were doing in the beginning to keep that person. Because once you stop doing certain things like loving them and trusting them, they're going to be like, why they're not doing the things? Why they're not giving me flowers? Why they're not giving me lunch? Well, you know, why they're not doing the basic things that you were doing to capture that person's heart and their trust so be consistent it's important to have consistency in the relationship because if not that relationship will crumble it will be destroyed without any consistency loyalty is very important in a relationship loyalty oh man It'll make you feel so good knowing that your partner is loyal to you. I remember in my personal experiences with this situation, I had an ex that told me about certain dudes getting at her. And um, she could have bit the bait, but she didn't. She came back and told me, and I respect that. And I, oh, I love her to this day for just being loyal to me, you know. So loyalty, man goes a long way as well you gotta be loyal in a relationship you gotta have loyalty do not bite the bait once you get with someone it seems like everybody in the world want to get with you that is so weird i guess it's the forbidden fruit theory so stay loyal to your partner honesty another good one you gotta be truthful in a relationship you gotta speak the straight truth because if not you can break up a relationship because then they won't trust you 
So you got to be honest up front. Just tell them everything about you, everything about your family, just everything, everything. So that way they will feel like, okay, they gave me the opportunity because they were honest. And just tell them things that you like and things that you don't like. It's best just to be honest with someone. You know, tell them that you're having an urge to cheat. Be honest with them. Be honest. Honesty goes a long ways. Believe me, I know. Whew, let's talk about communication. Forget assuming. Forget assuming things. Communicate with the person. Ask them. Tell them. How are they going to know? They're not a remind reader. Communicate. Talk to each other. Convos. It works a lot, man. Instead of having built up thoughts in your heart and your, in your head, talk to the person. It will relieve so much stuff. Stuff that you didn't know and stuff that you will know. Communicate. Communication is very key in a relationship. People get caught up into the titles. You're my husband. You're my wife. You're my boyfriend. You're my girlfriend. But the best thing, I think, in a relationship, you have to be best friends. You got to have things in common. You got to be able to do things with this person and they love to do the same things with you. I'm not saying you have to be and do everything the same. It has to be perfect. But if that person is your best friend that is the best part of the relationship because you will put them before anybody. That's your best friend. You will tell them stuff before anybody. That's your best friend. You will give them trust, love, and all that. That's your best friend. Ooh, we. And then you got to ask yourself this too. Are you happy? Does that person make you smile? So basically, happiness. Happiness is one of the keys too. Because if you're not happy with the person, you will be searching and lurking for that empty space of happiness. So if that person makes you feel good and you think about them all the time and they make, and they make you smile, that's happiness. No matter what anybody says, anything about them, you will ignore them because you are happy. Happiness is the key. I know you're looking like compromise. I'm not talking about the compromise where you just accept somebody's flaws. No, I'm talking about compromise to where, let me give you an example. I was with this young lady and um, she wanted to see this boring love movie, this romantic movie, and I wanted to see an action movie. So I just decided just to, um, to decline the whole date. And it kind of messed up our relationship because I didn't compromise. See, she did that with me before. She didn't want to see a certain movie. And she just went ahead and compromised. See, if you guys can't compromise with each other, it's not going to work. Good vibes. Basically, those strong feelings without any words. You can just look at a person or, and you can just feel their energy. Or you can just think about that person and you can feel their energy. Good vibes are very important. Do not sleep on that because that comes from your spirit, your soul, or whatever you want to call it, energy. Good vibes is one of the best keys in a relationship. Good sex. It will go a long, long way. It'll make you blind to trust, loyalty, consistency, and love. <laughs> this is the most dangerous one out of all of them. But if y'all got that in your relationship, oh, man, you will see hearts and stars flying around in the room. So good sex is very important in a relationship. Please, your partner, do not be selfish. Good sex is one of the best keys in the relationship. So those are a few things that'll make the relationship strong and last long. Basically, if you don't have none of these things, it can be in any order, your relationship will crumble. 
I will suggest that you write a list of all the good things and the bad things about that person. And whichever one outweighs the other one, you got to go with that one. So hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like, and comment to Don Easy TV. Ha, <laughs> ha.